Hi there, I'm John Price, and this is one of a series of video clips talking about basic bidding in Bridge using the ACOL bidding system. As usual, we'll look at a Bridge hand. First, let's evaluate this hand. In high card points, it's got three in hearts, three in diamonds, seven in clubs, that's seven, ten, thirteen high card points. And one more point can be awarded for the fifth club. So this is a hand with fourteen points. And so that's well above average. The average being ten points. So if you've got an opportunity, you can open with this hand. And it is your deal. So you're going to open. What will you open? Well, the idea here is to not open until you've decided what your second bid is going to be. So you look at the hand and you think, shall I bid spades or diamonds? No, of course you won't. You've only got two of each. I've got very good clubs, but I've also got four hearts to the king. And hearts, being a major suit, is more important than clubs. Should I bid the hearts first? In the ACOR bidding system, the answer is clear. You bid your longest suit. So you're going to open one club. Now I'm assuming that this is a non-competitive auction. That means the opponents make no bids. They pass every time. So it swings round to your partner and your partner says, two clubs. And it comes back to you. That bid of two clubs tells you a lot about his hand. It says, I like clubs, meaning He's got four or more. But it also tells you, I haven't got anything else. I like your clubs, but I've just got six to nine points. Well, even if he had nine points, you and you've got, how much do we say? 13 plus an extra, that's 14 points. You've only got 23 points as a maximum. So you would be... Uh, quite safe to pass that bid because you found a suit at the right level. So that was straightforward. So let's imagine another scenario. You open one club, round it comes to your partner, and your partner says one diamond. Now that bid has a very different meaning. It says, partner, I have got six points or more. And that more could be a lot more. 18, 19 points perhaps. Who knows? We're going to have to wait and see. But the important thing is you must make a next bid. When your partner responds with a new suit, it is compulsory for you to bid again. So don't be disappointed by thinking, oh, he doesn't like my clubs and he's bidding diamonds and I don't like it. Oh dear, I've given up hope and I will pass. You are not allowed to. You must bid again. And you have got a lovely bid to make. You can now say one heart as your second bid. Now that tells your, your partner a lot about your hand. It describes it almost perfectly. It tells your partner you have four hearts. But it also tells your partner, indirectly, that you have five clubs. Before, he only knew that you had four or more. But now he's certain you've got five or more because that's the suit that you opened. 
So he knows you have four hearts. He knows you have five clubs. And he also will know one further thing. That you have got 12 to 14 points. If you had more, you would do something different. But we'll talk about that in another time. So that one heart describes your hand and it goes round to your mark partner who will then make the right decision given all the information. Okay, well, um, what else could it be? You open one club, comes round to your partner and you, he says, one heart. Excellent, right. The bid comes round to you and now you can happily say two hearts. And that bid tells your partner the following. You like hearts. You have four or more. And by the way, did you notice that the order I bid it in, I, that means I've got five clubs or more, four hearts or more. But because I haven't got very excited, I've only gone one heart, two hearts, then I've got 12 to 14 points, which is exactly what you want. Okay, let's try this. You open one club, as you should, and it goes round to your partner who bids one spade. What is your next bid? Mm. Now this is more difficult. And it's more difficult because when you open one club, I want you to imagine a barrier of two clubs. When you open a suit, imagine this barrier as being two of that suit. If your next bid is more than that barrier, you are saying you've got a strong hand, i.e. 15 points or more. Let me just say that again. The barrier is the next level up on your first bid. One club in this case, so the barrier is two clubs. So when your partner responded one spade, you cannot now, you must not bid two hearts. I know you're desperate to tell him about your hearts because he may have some, he may have four. But you can't do that because that would be saying, partner, I've got a strong hand of 15 or more points. So that's the dilemma. You don't like his spades, but you have to bid again because your partner has introduced a new suit. What do you do? And I think in this case, your best bet is to bid two clubs. It tells your partner, I've got five clubs and 12 to 14 points. I've repeated my suit, therefore I've got more than four. I've got five or more, and I've got 12 to 14 points. You would like to have told him about your heart, but you can't because then you'd be lying about the number of points that you have. Okay, let's just review. With this hand, you've decided that you're definitely going to open and you're going to open with one club, but you're doing that with the plan of replying on your second bid by telling your partner about your hearts. If, however, he's already told you about clubs, then you stick with that. If he bids hearts, then you'll go one more. But you're keeping in mind that the barrier is two clubs. You open one club, so your second bid must not be above two clubs. 
So it might be that you can't tell your partner about your heart, but you're just going to have to live with that. Well, I hope this has been useful. Thank you for watching. I'm John Price. Goodbye.